Good morning, friends and family. Welcome to Garden Tour Saturday. Hashtag Grandma Sandy and others, which I will list below. So today I'm on the north side of the house, which gets a lot of shade except for in the morning, as you see. And this is the rock garden. So I just wanted to give an update on this. I have alyssum and super tunia bordeaux that are at, uh, annuals here. In the front, I have the carpet flocks. Uh, they're on their way out. This is a perennial from Proven Winners. I think it is something about rock and roll. I'll have to look that up. Rocking something, but it comes back every year. And then after it blooms, you cut it back and it comes back at the end of the season. We have Autumn Joy. Now in this rock garden, I have the boxwood and I also have the heather which if you look at some of my past videos is just beautiful and it blooms twice a year if you cut it back after the first spring bloom but they are getting older I didn't cut them back last fall so they got a little woody I might have to replace them this year but we'll see how they do so again I have the Bordeaux super tunias between each boxwood and the alyssum and this really just fills in beautifully so this is the rock garden this is a montauk daisy that comes that blooms in the fall tick seed some autumn joy and in the middle is the ageratums they get tall purple blooms very beautiful, dependable, perennial. On the edge, I have uh, more carpet flocks. This is a Daphne bush. It's getting huge and it smells amazing when it's in bloom. It's just an amazing smell. It smells like gardenias when, when it's in bloom. Let's take a look at this peony bush here. Okay, this peony bush faces, well, it's on the north side, north of the house. And it's the first to, it's the last to bloom, actually. It's the last to bloom. And you see, I still have some more blooms here. I normally take off these little side ones to get bigger blooms on that stem. But this one might not bloom. Now the peonies, they flop. So normally you would put them against like a deck or a fence of some kind so you have something to tie them to, but they also have, you know, cages for flowers that tend to flop and that's what I use. So in here I do have two cages. I have this round one in here that I put in when they first started coming up, but uh, then some came up outside of that. So I took a half cage. They have half cages that I just scooped underneath and lifted them up. I still have lots of cleanup to do on the patio here. And look, there's the pokeweed. Okay, going towards the backyard. I'm on the west side of the house now. And we have these knockout roses that have been here many, many years, over 10 years for sure. They're blooming beautifully. And then I have the climbing roses on this arbor. There are some early bloomers here. This one up here. Beautiful. Then I have lots of roses way up there on this arbor. And through here also still blooming are the bleeding hearts. Okay, so now we're in the backyard, which is the south side of the house. And over here are the peonies that bloom first. These peonies were here one year earlier than the peonies over here, which are just starting to get the bulbets or whatever you want to call them here. The ants are starting to chew away at them to help them burst. But these are, have bloomed beautifully. 
that kind of snuck up on me actually. I didn't even get to trim off little side shoots, but I'm gonna let them go to bloom. I'll take off this one, which is, you know, past its prime. But as you can see, I do have these tied up to the deck because they flop to the ground. Oops, I almost tripped. <laughs> and when it rains, they really just lay on the ground. But we are expecting a beautiful weekend with no rain for at least another week. And I'm gonna finally get to enjoy some outdoor peonies. I usually have to cut them and bring them in because every time they're at their prime, it pours and ruins them. But I think this year is gonna be a good year weather-wise for the peonies. As you see, I also have bindweed which I have to come in and clean up. But look how the peonies are peeking through the railing. I just like the way that looks from the other side. See, these are the latest addition to the deck and I just really love the look of these too. I got the planters at um, Job Lot. They're like $10. The little one was $10. They're, they're not expensive there at all for these type of planters. But you can see the peonies through here. I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, and I almost forgot my latest addition to my peony collection here. My little small peony collection. Uh, back here in the corner by the potatoes. So this one is going to be red. And I just planted this in early May, so I don't think I'm going to get blooms this year. Who knows? Well, thank you everybody for joining me on Garden Tour Saturday. Don't forget to check out other gardeners that enjoy sharing their garden on Saturdays during Grandma Sandy's Garden Tour Saturday collaboration. Thanks for visiting. See you soon.